story to tell. Compared to the conflict seven years ago, Hamas has changed its offensive tactics, making it an inescapable threat to Israel. Hamas attacks from Gaza Strip against Israel in 2014 had little effect. The Hamas rockets at that time were improved, but most of them were shot down. Rockets that broke through Israeli defenses were rare. The part that Hamas marked in the conflict was its ability to resist fiercely when confronted with the Israeli ground offensive campaign using tanks and armor vehicles. In this latest clash, Hamas has changed its tactics. Even in the initial stage of firing, Hamas seemed to have demonstrated its strength and determination. To create ultimate pressure on Israel, Hamas launched rockets in extremely large numbers to suppress the enemy's Iron Dome system, which is said to have an 85% successful interception capacity. In terms of intensity, Hamas attacks in the past few days are four to five times more than 2014. Hamas attack caused Israeli casualties. This makes many people question, has Hamas discovered a weakness of the Iron Dome that cannot be effectively intercepted when attacked by a large number of missiles and rockets? It seems that the scale of this offensive operation surprised the Israeli military and intelligence leaders. During the 2014 conflict, in 50 days of fighting, Hamas fired about 4,000 rockets towards Israel. But in the past few days, this number has increased to 1,500. Notable is the ability to launch in series. In the past two days, Hamas has twice fired more than 100 rockets in just a few minutes. It shows the fact that since 2014, Hamas and many other armed groups in Gaza have quietly built up a stockpile of missiles and rockets of a much larger scale than previous estimated. It is reported that rockets launched by Hamas from the Gaza Strip have a low flight trajectory, which is different from high altitude ballistic missiles. This could also be a factor in helping rockets escape the interception capabilities of Iron Dome and other Israeli missile defense systems. The rocket rain tactic the Hamas applied this time pointed out the weaknesses of the Iron Dome that had been mentioned earlier. In 2019, Hamas claimed to have found a way to disable the Iron Dome by launching multiple rockets simultaneously at a single target at the same time. General Yaakov Amidro, the former head of the Israeli Army Intelligence Research Department at the time, acknowledged this weakness. A complete Iron Dome battery is usually arranged three to four launchers, each of which 
is equipped with about 20 terminal interceptors. This system is designed to take on the task of intercepting rockets, artillery shells, murder shells, cruise missiles, and smart unmanned aerial vehicles. It is not clear how many Iron Dome batteries Israel has put into use, but according to the plan that the army revealed in 2014, about 15 batteries will be put into service. Thus, it is estimated that the total number of Tamir missiles in a state of readiness to intercept is 1,200, but distributed widely it is difficult to simultaneously intercept an overwhelming rocket attack from one direction. In other words, there may be only one or few batteries that are always ready to intercept in one direction. Moreover, from the point of view of combat training, the Israeli army in many cases chooses to launch two Tamir missiles to destroy a single target in order to increase the success rate of Iron Dome's interception. This tactic is suitable for dealing with single ambushes with a small number of rockets. But with a rocket rain, Israel's Iron Dome could fall into overdrive. My video about Hamas rocket rain tactic answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.